Hello, my name is Sana, and in the month of October, I have the privilege to participate in a month long collaboration with K, K Crochet, The Spoonie Stitcher, Critters Crochet, as well as Gwinspired Crochet. The Decade Divas Party is, well, just that, a celebration of fiber and textiles inspired by five different decades. Each week, I will be making one project inspired by that week's decade. Each week we'll also have a host creator, so be sure to check out their video to see how they're celebrating their chosen decade. This week we're starting off strong with the 1920s and our host for this week is K&K Crochet. If you want to participate along with us, you are more than welcome. Shannon at The Spoonie Stitcher has made a video that includes everything you need to know, so that video will be linked down below. So be sure to check out that video to see how you can participate as well. So it's the 1920s, and what do you think of? Jazz, dancing, bootlegging, prosperity. Now me being Sonnet, my mind instantly gravitates to moving pictures. Now this Jane tends to be my gums over things I find to be the bee's knees. My favorite 1920s icon is just the berries, the big cheese himself. Mickey Mouse. Created in 1928 by Walt Disney and Ub Iwerks, it is no surprise that for the 1920s, I had to pick a crochet project that was Mickey Mouse inspired. My love of Mickey is no secret on this channel. Sweaters, artwork, tattoos. <laughs> you guys know how much I love Mickey. And with it being October, I had to create a pumpkin Mickey. So this is the Halloween mouse jack-o'-lantern pattern. This is a pattern by Outlaw Heart Creations and their patterns are some of my all-time favorites. I think they are so great. And when I saw this Mickey Mouse pumpkin, I knew I had to make it. Now this pattern actually, I believe gives you three different sizes. I only had the opportunity to crochet one, but I absolutely love him and he is going to be going with my Halloween decorations as soon as I'm done filming this. I did use some acrylic yarn from my stash for this one. I did use some green pipe cleaners for the little tendrils. And then of course I did use some heat transfer vinyl that I cut out on my Cricut cutting machine for his face. You could use felt or crocheted pieces for this, but I felt cutting out the HTV on my Cricut was going to be the fastest and it was the most precise to give that really Mickey Mouse look. Halloween, Mickey Mouse, crochet, these are a few of my favorite things. I love it so much and I had so much fun making this project. So that is it for the first episode for the Decade Divas from me. Tell me what do you think of when you think of the 1920s? And again, if you do wanna participate as well, be sure to check out the Spoonie Stitcher video explaining everything you need to know. Again, K, K Crochet is the host this week, so please go check out their video to see what they have for us. And please go check out the videos of the Spoonie Stitcher, Critters Crochet, as well as Gwinspired Crochet. They also have videos coming out inspired by the 1920s today. So definitely don't miss those. That's all I have to say about that. Thank you so much for joining me today. Be sure to join me again next week for our next decade. And I will see you all a little later. Bye.